never heard the stars twinkle. Or dandelion fluff dance on a blue sky. You probably have no tips at the ends of your ears. In part one of my DIY Palmer Clay Fairy Art Doll tutorial, I showed you how to sculpt the face. In part two, I'll show you how to attach the face to the head and how to sculpt ears. This is certainly Caroline with more Palmer Clay Fairy Tale nonsense. Create your own fairy tale world with my miniature art tutorials. As always, a link to the supplies I used for this tutorial will be in the description below. After brushing in some rubbing alcohol to further smooth out the face, I use a sharp blade and carefully slide the face off, then I bake it. I make a slightly oval ball of tin foil with a flat side to allow for the face and add some clay to it. Notice the oval shape on a skull's profile. If I make a horizontal line through the middle, the top of the nose rests on this middle line, and the top of the mouth almost lines up with the bottom of the ball. Keeping these rough measurements in mind, I place the face onto the trimmed ball. I work in a strip of clay between the ball and the face. I left a small amount of room for a final strip of clay that will be added after baking. I smooth in a final strip of clay, brush in some rubbing alcohol, and bake again. Starting with a medium grit sandpaper and ending with fine grit, I thoroughly sand where the face joins the head. Sculpting the ears. The jaw starts roughly three-fourths the way down the ball and rests on the middle vertical line, and the ear hole is pretty much right where the jaw begins. This is how I know where to place the ear. Someone might mention that it's the elves with pointed ears, not fairies, but I like my fairies to have big pointed ears, so there you go. The helix is the curved rim along the back of the ear, so I'm working on a pointed helix for my fairy. I cut out some clay for the conca cavum. It's just this dip right here. And also for the triangular fossa, which does have a triangular shape to it right here up at the top of the ear. And another cut for the conca simba. I use a very small ball tool to smooth out my cuts. The helix has a more gradual beginning than what I've got here, so I cut out some clay to make the helix gradually rise up from the conca. I defined the antitragus, which is just the little bump on the opposite side of the tragus. So there's like a light side and a dark side of the tragus. No. Come to the antitragus. Then I further define the tragus. Look, you are one with the tragus. That wasn't a very good Yoda voice. Oh well. And there's her lobe. Later I decide I want her ears pierced, so I put a little hole through her lobe. I bake that side, then sculpt the other side. In my other doll making tutorials, I go over how I paint my dolls, how I add their hair and their eyelashes, and how I sculpt the doll bodies. I'll list those tutorials in the description below. Like this video if you liked it, and if you haven't already, subscribe to my strange little world of Palmer Clay fairy tales.